What I've noticed about people who take our coach training is they're not those big, you know, loud personality. Like <laughs> you see those coaches out there that are like, eh, you know, jumping up and down and, you know, being very, very um, um, kind of bold. And they're, they're more thoughtful. They're more, they like to read. Actually, they like to spend time within themselves. They like to uh, look inward. And I was reading uh, young, uh, something about young um, a couple, about a month ago. And I, I saw that someone had mentioned that young realized that most of the people that sought his work were introverted, more introverted than extroverted. Mm -hmm. And I said, wow, that's interesting. <laughs> and because this is why we do this work, because we are attract introverts. And I think there's this misperception that if I'm an introvert, I can't put myself out there. And so, um, so I, you know, I really realized that, wow, looking back, I was very shy. I was not the type to be loud in the office and very outgoing. I mean, people, I was friendly, I was social, I wasn't like a wallflower. And again, this is a spectrum, you know, you could be really introverted and really extroverted, but most of us kind of fall in the middle and then we have our kind of preferred way. And for me, uh, I remember when I first started my first business before you and I worked together, my girlfriends were all going away to uh, Vail, which the nickname for Vail is male. <laughs> and I was single in Colorado. in Colorado. And they were going out partying Fourth of July weekend. They were saying, yeah, we're going to go and we're going to meet guys and we're going to party. Da, da, da. And I said, you know what? You guys go. I'm going to stay here <laughs> and I'm going to write my book. And that's where I wrote my first book let love in uh my draft of let love in and i was perfectly happy being in my own little cubby hole reading and watching some movies and taking time for myself and i was much more comfortable that way than i was out like trolling the bars and being like hey how you doing and you know it's just not my style so then when i just thought about starting a business and and putting myself out there I thought, well, I got to go to all these networking events and I got to meet people and I got to put myself out there. And yes, I did that. But I noticed that my style wasn't like, hey, everyone, look at me. It was more, let me make personal connections with people. Let me talk mm -hmm. to people. I always felt more comfortable with a one on one, which actually served me better because it's that loud person sometimes that doesn't really listen to people and they're not thoughtful and um, so um, I thought that was interesting. And then another thing that was a benefit of me being introvert is that inter uh, being online. I think a lot of people think that if you're an introvert, you can't put yourself out on social media, you're going to be more shy, and that only these loud people are out there, big, you know, splashy, flashy people. And, you and, and a lot of coaches tell their clients to be like that, be out, out extraordinary and stand out and be ridiculous. And that wasn't me. And I never followed that advice. And I felt like um, it was easy as an introvert to be in front of my computer and actually do the marketing in my house than being out there mm -hmm. like p pounding the pavement. And so I found that there were really some real benefits to being an introvert. And um, and then through the process of me building a business and putting myself out there, I feel like I balanced my extroversion part because, as we know, whatever the persona is, the opposite is in the shadow. So I was able to integrate some of these things.